Um, I think must have been close to 110 kilometers per hour uh, Tour de Suisse in 2018. Growing up in France, uh, it's always been a dream to, to start the Tour de France and um, yeah, obviously, you know, besides uh, the two crashes, I just, I just carried on, you know, I just, uh, just thought, ah, okay, it's, it's a bad day, but uh, if I can still pedal, then I'll do it until the line and actually cross the line, I think 30 seconds from the time cut, but uh, it was a close call, but yeah, I made it. So. You do something else, there's always a risk of injury or something, so I prefer to stick to the bike, but uh, from time to time, in the beginning of the preparation where the load is still not not really big on the bike. Uh, I enjoy to do, to do some runs. Obviously, I also introduce some uh, core sessions. Yeah, I would stick to Comage probably because that's that's the roots. But yeah, at the end is the Pyrenees, so I would just say the Pyrenees. You know, like most of the time, I would do three-day blocks, and let's say when we get closer to a race or a big event, uh, I would do two of these days with some intervals, and then the middle day, let's say more of a general ride. Or, Hard to tell this, uh, the road will tell. I mean, I'm working hard to um, to be up there uh, on the big races. Uh, at the moment, uh, yeah, just working hard. We'll see, you know, uh, every race is, let's say, kind of a test for everyone. And uh, we see who, who is uh, in the best position for the re leader's role. And I just hope to be ready um, to be in that role. Ah, uh, definitely the win. Uh, I don't mind the rain as long as it's not too cold outside, but uh, yeah, windy, windy conditions is, is really hard. I don't know. Uh, I rather really ride in the rain than the, the wind. It's uh, it's hard to tell. We had a lot actually. Um, I really enjoyed our trips in Australia. This is always uh, beginning of season, really more relaxed. Let's say it's always really fun, but. Honestly, we, we've got uh, such a good group of guys who always have fun on races. Um, it would be really hard to pick one. Yeah, definitely I did. Um, it was my first big classic uh, in my career, actually after three years. And uh, yeah, it was quite quite a shock, I would say. You, you know, it's like completely different racing from the stage races, which I did most of the time. And honestly, it wasn't much of a battle because I was out of the GC pretty quick. Uh, I wasn't... I wasn't at my best, I would say, on that race, so it was definitely not a battle between me and him. It was more between uh, between him and Bjorn Lambrecht, but uh, well, even um, Egan was uh, honestly the best uh, on that year and still he's amazing. So, uh, nah, it was a great race for me because it um, started not so well, but then on the last stage I, I took the stage win and uh, Bocca the Jews uh, was still, still good, really good memories there. Uh, for the moment, uh, I'm targeting the Giro, um, and then we'll see what happens. But uh, I would like also to to do the Vuelta if possible. Uh, that would be a good um, a good thing to do. Um, double double Grand Tour this year would be would be uh, would be great. Um, I think it must have been close to 110 kilometers per hour uh, Tour de Suisse in 2018. Uh, yeah, big, big pass, massive road, uh, big peloton, just straight road. So yeah, we we, we hit some some really really high speed there. Um, I wouldn't pick like a lot of races, but I would definitely pick a Grand Tour. Uh, that's something I think it's a like a lifetime goal. I would say. Uh, I don't do gym, so yeah, uh, only like core stability, but I never go to the gym. So yeah. Honestly, I don't like both. I'm not a big fan of uh, strength resistant training, but uh, yeah, you always have to to put some in your training. Uh, this is something really important. So yeah, on the bike, I would go. I love the Alps, uh, just in general. Uh, I mean, Swiss Alps, French Alps, also the Italian Alps. This, this is definitely, definitely, uh, yeah, the mountains is, is what I love for training. So if I have to pick one, maybe I would go for, uh, yeah, probably, probably the area around Livigno is, is really beautiful in Italy. 